promise you I didn't sleep at that gym. Hey, Best Pally, I'm Allie, and I want to know exactly what not sleeping does to your metabolism. So it's time for some sleep deprivation. Do not try this at home. I regret trying this at home. There are a lot of reasons why this is really bad for my body, and we will get to the science behind that. But first, how are we going to track my metabolism score whenever I force myself to be unconscious? I'm wearing a continuous glucose monitor with the Levels app, which will show us my blood sugar in real time. So as I stay up throughout the night, we will be able to see on a graph my health go south. Generally, you want your blood sugar to stay nice and low and level. That means your metabolism is working well. Your body is using the energy that you gave it. This is a very healthy day that I had. Then something bad happened. That big spike is bad. Blood sugar spikes send you on the path to fat gain, obesity, diabetes, inflammation, Alzheimer's, a whole bunch of other stuff. This is what happens whenever your metabolism sucks. Now, what I've heard is that not sleeping is one of the most effective ways to make your metabolism suck. We're about to find out. Also, not sleeping is a really great way to feel hungry and fatigued and moody and just in general really crappy. So I hope you appreciate what I do for you, pallies. To make this a very controlled test, I'm going to have 50 grams of a bagel. We'll see my blood sugar response. Then I will go without sleep for a night. And then I'll have another 50 grams of a bagel and we'll see if my blood sugar response is then a dumpster fire. A big thing about blood sugar response is that it's very personal to you. So unrelated to the no sleep, I could have a bad response to a bagel, but maybe a great response to a banana. And then someone else could have a terrible response to a banana and a great response to bagels. So I have suckered Christine into doing this test with me so we can get data on a second subject. What's your blood sugar right now? It says 110. I am at 99. Flop it on. Adding fat to carbs will actually blunt a spike, but as long as I'm doing the same thing now as the next test, it will be equal and fair. Let's make it an even 10. Gotta really make sure it's on there. <laughs> You're slapping it on. And you got a lot of carbs there, so you should even it out. I like all the sides being covered. 56. My mouth is watering. Can we hurry up? Now, you're gonna log it so we know when the bagel happened. Oh, it's so close. Okay, well, I'm at 103. Oh yeah, I'm down to 98 now. See, it really is real time. It's really cool. Do you like carbs? Yeah. Did you sleep well last night? Taking a photo. My delicious meal. What kind of bagel did you get? Plain. How boring. What kind of bagel did you get? Egg. It's so good. Why, because you want the extra protein? I wish it was in the morning where I could dip this in coffee. Don't worry, we get to do this again. So combining foods will change your blood sugar response and so will activity afterwards. So we're not gonna be able to do any working out or walking or whatever. We needed to keep this all very controlled. I hope I don't spike because I can eat bagels forever. My jaw is tired of chewing. Oh, you've had enough. You must finish. We must know the data. Yeah, the sun's gonna set by the time I finish. You've just had so much bagel on your plate. Well, now is when I get nervous because I'm just sitting around while the glucose dumps into my blood and, you know, I'm not allowed to walk because of this video. But walking would significantly reduce the spike because your body then uptakes the glucose that you just took in. Before I work out, I usually have a Rice Krispie treat. Yeah, and then you use all that in your workout, you know. But having a Rice Krispie treat and then just sitting there isn't mm. the smartest. I don't do that. <laughs> We're about to. You have to do an equal amount of hydration too because that will have an effect on gastric emptying. The word emptying is weird. You thinking about a sphincter? Yeah. You know, the human body has over 70 sphincters. I can name like five. Five? I got one. <laughs> I guess like your esophagus is one. And then the one that everyone knows. Now, I, I think it's 70. Where are they? Because I don't have any other holes. <laughs> oh, it's over, it's approximately 50. Where? Kind of wrong. <sighs> How many friends did I try to make with that line and I was lying? But where are they? I just think it's crazy you're unfazed by the fact that the number of sphincters in the human body is how I make friends. I want to know, though. <laughs> like, throughout. Where? <laughs> There's a handful. The largest one is the pyloric sphincter. OK, she's done. Sorry, Thanks looking up sphincters. Now it takes about two hours for the metabolism to metabolize. And so we will check back in and look at our graph then. You're at 96. Yeah. It went down? How is that even possible? How are you that good at metabolizing? Yay, bagels. I'm already up to 148. Look at that spike. Levels gives you score from one to 10 on how your metabolism handled a meal. One is the worst, 10 is the best. What score did you get? Wait, I did want to point out that even Levels knows sleep is important. Look, right below my meal, they're showing that I got a lovely eight hours of sleep last night. <sighs> we will not be getting a lovely eight hours tonight. Anyway, what's your score? Seven. That's really good. And you ate so much bagel. I ate 
more than double the bagel yeah. than you did. Yeah, but we're gonna see because your seven might turn into a one after you don't sleep. Well, thank goodness I don't do that <laughs> ever. <laughs> I know. So. I know, but this video is just gonna be us being scared. I got a two. Wow. Yeah, it says really big spike. I went up by 54. So, not great, but there's also room to get even worse. It's not a one. Mine was a gentle rise. <laughs> I only got up to 115. What That's was your top? 153. Wow. So you shouldn't have bagels. Well, no, actually I shouldn't. I should have added chia seeds with it and some protein. You shouldn't just have carbs all by itself. Why not? Uh, <laughs> yes, I know. It's very personalized how your blood uh, thank handles you. it. Uh, thank you. <laughs> No, don't you yawn. Oh, I'm already oh tired. no. I'm already tired. Okay, well, we happen to be going without sleep for a different video where we're spending overnight in this gym, and I hope it's already live on the channel because that would mean we survived. <laughs> Maybe we didn't. So, as we slowly get tired throughout the night, I'm going to be giving you the science behind what may be happening to our bodies. But first, let's talk about how sleep deprivation is a form of torture. Yeah, I just yawned. <laughs> That's not great. Courts internationally and in the US have recognized not sleeping as cruel and unusual punishment, so it's fine. We're doing this for you. No, I'm doing this because you told me to. <laughs> the Independent Research Ethics Committees and Institutional Review Boards have very strict frameworks about what you can do in a scientific study that involves sleep deprivation because it is so cruel. You have to be closely monitored. They have to make sure that there's no emotional and psychological risk. We're not doing any of that. I don't know if this study would have been approved. I think this is the greatest study ever done. <laughs> End of two. Yeah! The reason I'm doing this test is five years ago when I started working with Levels, one of their co-founders emailed me and said, I bet if you sleep deprived yourself, you'd start seeing some wonky numbers, but that'd be a pretty miserable experience. Smiley face, just a thought. And I have had just that thought for five years being like, oh, I should do this video and I keep putting it off and now I finally committed. How do you think your blood sugar is going to do with this meal? We'll see. It's a bunch of white rice. <laughs> it's also later than you ever eat. I would be sleeping right now. We decided to walk after the meal. I've seen that this is one of the most effective ways to blunt a blood sugar spike, is to just go for a stroll after you eat a bunch of carbs. It will very quickly and easily and effectively keep you from spiking super high and nice and low and level instead. This isn't going to affect our sciencing because we're still gonna test in all the controlled conditions at the end with the same bagel. So I figure, why not not destroy myself throughout the day except for the not sleeping? That destruction is definitely coming. And Christine chose destruction because she's doing the stepper after eating all that. You cramping? Okay, well, my stomach would hurt. We are past midnight and I wanted to point out that Guinness World Records no longer acknowledges any sleep deprivation records because it's so dangerous. So we can make our own Guinness Book and just label it a different title. Yeah. I Not think... Guinness Book, a world record. Oh, they also don't accept largest pet anymore because people were just force feeding animals. Well, that's abuse. So is this. Yeah, but you're choosing to do it. <laughs> I know. Check in, I am ravenously hungry. Now is when I would be unconscious, but instead I just want to eat. Yeah, I could, I mean, I could eat, I think because I'm like kind of bored. Oh no, I'm not just bored eating, I'm hungry. So nothing crazy spiky, but that's probably because we've been really active this whole time. I am sitting though at 106, and that's pretty high for a fasting glucose. That's technically pre-diabetes. Yeah, I've been chilling around 100 this whole time, but I've, I've saunaed, I've cardioed. Oh, and you didn't sleep all night. Oh yeah, that. <laughs> Yawning again, you're really hammering it home. Just in case you didn't get the first time. So when you don't sleep, you get a cortisol spike because your body recognizes it's under stress. It thinks it's running from a lion and then it gives you more glucose so you'd have energy yeah. to run from that lion. And that's probably why we're sitting pretty high right now yeah. even though we've been active. I know, and I'm never this, sitting this high. Yeah. It's weird. Your body feels fight or flight right now except for the yawns. <laughs> Oh no, a bear! So we just did all this working out, and that causes inflammation. Inflammation is also closely linked to not sleeping and obesity and diabetes, so there are kind of a lot of things happening to cause metabolic dysfunction when you don't sleep and work out the whole time. I feel swollen. <laughs> Inflamed? Yeah. 
<laughs> swollen. So what I'm trying to say is there are shared underlying reasons linking sleep loss and metabolic dysfunction. Now we're eating and just sitting around in our inflammation. My whole body is pulsing. You know, you can feel like your thumb has a pulse or something. I feel like my whole body is radiating. That doesn't sound right. Yeah, like it's just like inflamed. This may have been a poor choice. May have been. Ooh, I can't wait for that bagel though. I blew it by not having a whole bunch in the first test because now you get a whole bagel and I had 50 grams. I'd like to take this time to point out that the sleep duration average for a human has decreased from 100 years ago, it was nine hours and now it is 6.8. That is super unhealthy. Let me tell you, the lowest hanging fruit, the most effective thing that you can do right now to reach all your fitness goals, whether it is body composition or happiness, mood or energy, or just fe feeling awesome and what are the other things that you might wanna do? Performance, all of those things will be helped by sleep immediately. Get seven to nine hours. It's, it's like a performance enhancing drug, but it's legal. Are you trying to lose weight? Sleep. Are you trying to win a boxing match? Sleep. Are you trying to PR your lift? Sleep. Sleep is what you should look at before diet, before exercise, certainly before supplements. It is the number one thing, easiest and most effective to reach your goals. <laughs> it's finally time to go. Let's go have a bagel. Oh my God, I'm ready. Let's go. Still sitting at a gross 98 and I spiked all the way to 127 from that protein. 119. Yeah, that's not great. Man, you are all over the place. Yeah, what we have here is not nice and low and level. I'm concerned what's about to happen. Log your same meal. Does it taste any better now? Better than last time. It's so weird though. I feel like I wouldn't fall asleep if I went to bed right now. I would. Really, you think you just knock out? Mm. Weirdly exhausted and also wired. It's a shame this blood bomb is so delicious though. If it doesn't affect mine, like the first one didn't. That'd be insane. You would just be bulletproof. You could do whatever to your body and be fine. That would. Well, I'm clearly higher than. Yeah. But if it doesn't get worse. Not just that you're higher, but that you're doing this bouncing around. The more even throughout the day, the better off you are. Clean plate, you seem to be in slow motion. Thanks for doing this for me. I'm gonna die early now. I think that's what we're proving. Okay, I had to get a good night's sleep to tell you about something important. A game changer for your glucose. You know, I mentioned that walking after a meal will really blunt a spike. And if you have a treadmill desk, you have no excuse not to. This is the FlexiSpot E7 Plus four leg standing desk and treadmill combo. And this treadmill is super cool, better than other ones I've seen because I'm inclining right now with the remote and it goes all the way up nine different levels. Oh my goodness, I am gonna be sweating on my zooms. And the four leg design is awesome because it's way more stability when I'm aggro walking and bumping into it. Look, Sharky's not even moving. And more stability even at the highest heights. Let's just do a little test. I didn't weigh myself this morning, but it holds 540 pounds and I'm pretty sure I'm pretty close to that. Oh yeah, easy peasy. Ooh. <laughs> and other four leg standing desks cost over a thousand dollars. So this one is a deal. And we got a two year warranty on the treadmill and its weight capacity is 275. So I could curl 45s while I walk if I could curl 45s. And it has a built in Bluetooth speaker to play whatever you want, which is obviously me. <laughs> Lexi Spots Christmas sale is coming soon. You'll have the chance to win free orders during this period. So get your own E7 Plus four leg standing desk or their E7 premium desk is also great if you're on a budget. Use this code for $50 off the desk and this code for $30 off the treadmill. Click the link in the description to learn more. And now let's go find out the results. Final score. Once again, this is a scale of one to 10. 10 is the best. You want a high number. You went from a seven to a five. Yeah, that's crappier. It's probably because you didn't sleep. But it's still not that bad. <laughs> yeah, I know. I got it. Your superhuman metabolism. No. And for me, I went from a two, which is the second worst score you could get. The only worser could be a one. I got a four. It got better. Weird. None of this makes sense and science is weird. Science is not science. I don't understand why my spike 
peak was 153 before and then it was 143. I promise you I didn't <laughs> sleep at that gym. So, I mean, I guess that's why you do science because you make a hypothesis and then realize that it wasn't what you thought. Do we need to do it again? No, what? No. <laughs> if you didn't see the video where we spent 24 hours in Gold's gym, that was a fascinating one. I'll put that down there for you. It's getting sparse in here. No, it's getting sketchy in here. Well, it takes a special person to be in the gym at this hour. Hey, Beth Pally, I'm Allie, and this is our attempt to spend 24 hours in a public